Well, this is the third part in this series, two years in Dubai. It's really exciting for me to put this video together, this episode of the podcast together, to share with you some of the things that I've learned, some of the things that I've had confirmed since my wife and I moved to Dubai. You'll be able to watch video number one when we first moved, and then a year in Dubai, and now with two, I wanna share what my experience has been like, how my wife and I have adjusted to being in Dubai, but I also wanna share a few pieces of advice for you the fitness professional who is considering making the move to Dubai. In the last two years, so much has changed in our life, but I can sit here right now and tell you that moving to Dubai has been the best thing that we've ever done. We are happy. I watch my wife every day, go for walks, go to the pool, and just be happy. Now, this video is not about you. It's not about me trying to convince you about Dubai. It's me sharing my own experiences, but it will give you some perspectives that maybe will challenge some of your own thoughts. Maybe you live in Dubai right now and you're just watching this just to hear somebody else's experiences. But for my wife and I, it's been the best move ever. I mean, look, we're coming up to a year of our son's first life on this planet. One of the biggest things about our move to Dubai was moving to somewhere where we would wanna bring up our son, an environment that we felt was right for the next stage of our journey. So in the last two years, and right now as I sit here today, I can say to you that Dubai is home. Dubai is where we're staying. And I always say, whatever way the wind blows, if the direction of our life changes, I'm always open to moving. But right now, this is home and we're happy. Why are we happy? Well, a lot of people say to me, the tax, the sun. Well, of course, move that to one side for a second. On a podcast recently, somebody said, what is it that you love about Dubai the most? I love the people. I love the energy. And I love the fact, even though I'm not religious, that every religion can live together in harmony and peace. Everybody's watching out for each other. Everybody's helping each other. That is something that I really cherish and I'm really grateful for. You know, I think a lot of people come here and they see the wealth and they just see that one side of Dubai. What I see in Dubai is that people are wanting each other to win. And the conversations that I have every single day are not of, oh, this is happening, that's happening, this person's doing this, that person's doing that. It's very positive. There is no complaining and moaning about politics and government and what's happening right and what's happening wrong. I tend to have very growth-minded conversations rather than scarce conversations, which for me really helps me entrepreneurially. I'm in a very positive headspace. Now, of course, going to the beach, having the sun every single day, it's beautiful. Watching my wife get up in the morning, take our son for a walk, and having a smile on her face, it's incredible. So Dubai has brought me more than I ever, ever thought possible. I'm in a great headspace myself. I'm outside. I'm able to go for a walk in the sun every single day. And the funny thing is, a lot of people think, how often are you sunbathing? After the first six months, I really stopped. I wasn't in the sun as much. It became home. So you do adjust to being here and not necessarily having to be in the sea or in the pool every five minutes because it becomes the norm. I'm going to stop the video just for two seconds because I've got a free gift for you. Now, I created a five-part mini-series called the Online Coach Income Accelerator. And in this video series, I teach you the incredible opportunities that lie ahead for online fitness coaches today. I then talk to you about how to attract, engage, and market to your dream customers. Now, when you have these dream prospects in sight, I then teach you how to land the high-paying clients. Now, to download this, to get immediate access, all you need to do is to click the link in the bio and you'll receive immediate access as soon as you submit your details. I'll see you there. So Dubai for me is very much the cultural energy here. The fact that people want to help each other to win. Of course, there is a plus side to the tax. But I tell you this, if I didn't enjoy Dubai, I wouldn't be here. I've said this to so many people. Tax is not a good reason to be here. Because if you're unhappy, that's your life. I'm deeply fulfilled at more than just the tax, the quality of life, how my wife feels, how honestly safe Dubai is. You know, a lot of people see on Reels and Instagram and hear about the safety. It's not a joke. It is un 
unbelievably calm, unbelievably safe, and the laws and the rules are abided by. It frustrated me for years to live in a country whereby crime was in a, in a mess. And I am not at the forefront of the police in the UK, and I respect everything that's trying to be done, but it was very unsettling to hear all the time what problems were going on. And now to be in a country where I'm able to bring my son up and my wife and I can bring Mason up in a very safe environment, that's worth so much to me. Now, as a fitness professional, you may be watching this thinking, oh, I've been thinking about Dubai. It's somewhere I want to move to impulsively in many, many cases. I took two years stabilizing the business, putting the right people in place, managing my affairs, speaking to an international tax advisor and going through the whole process of closing my company down. The Dubai company bought my UK company and then doing a transition properly. Now, I spoke about this on the first video, but I cannot reiterate this enough. If you want to move to Dubai, move to Dubai knowing that it's the right move for you, or at least just come out for three or four months, test it, see if you like it, because there's a few mistakes that a lot of coaches make when they move here, or anybody for that matter. Number one, I truly do believe that you will underestimate the summers. A lot of people are like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Most coaches that I know that come here, if you're single as well, you won't enjoy being inside. You won't enjoy being in the mall every other, every other weekend, okay? You will want to travel. This year, for example, my wife and I went back to London in June, July, and we did a month. And then when we came back to Dubai, we had a few weeks here, and we went over to the Maldives for seven, eight days. Over the course of the hotter period, we traveled. Now, is that not to say that through August and the beginning of June and the be and most of September, we weren't here? Absolutely. Are we happy here in the confines of home and malls and doing lots of other stuff? Amazing. But I'm fine. I love it. We've got my work. We've got my family. We're fine. However, you coming here, more than likely single, will want to be outside, will want to do things, and will more than likely find that that three or four month period will be very restrictive. So why am I telling you this? Because I truly do believe that for you to move here, you must be making a minimum of 10,000 a month and at least 70% of that profit. Online fitness coaches, you'll you'll think 70,000 profit if you're employed, yeah, different. Self-employed online coaches, 70% profit's not unheard of, okay? You've got minimal costs, minimal overheads, and 70% of that profit, seven grand a month, is a decent starting point for you to be to come out. So if you're making a lot less than that and your profit margin is a little bit smaller, just think, why don't I stay where I'm at right now, even though you're paying tax, and learn how to build a business so I can come here with a more stable business, more stable income level? Because when you come here, there's something that you're going to see that you won't really see apart from microclimates in the UK. If you go to Mayfair, if you go to other parts of Marleybone and central London, or some of the more premium areas of certain cities in the UK, for example, you'll see wealth, you'll see abundance. Here you see it all the time. You see it when you go to the beaches, the hotels, the restaurants, you see the cars, you go to the malls, you go to the fashion malls, you see abundance everywhere. You'll talk to people of abundance. You'll be sitting down talking to somebody and you can tell they're doing very, very well. They will talk abundantly. And what I notice with fitness professionals is they become very unsettled and they become very emotionally unstable and they start comparing themselves to everybody else and what they're currently doing with their business, they see it as not enough and they end up very low. You've got to understand that if you come to Dubai and you move to Dubai, you'll see a lot of this stuff. And immediately, when you think you're doing okay, you'll see somebody doing a lot better. And you can't suddenly then go, well, I'm rubbish. You can use people's success here because everybody wants to help everybody to elevate your game, play a bigger game, but then still continue on your journey to play that bigger game. It crushes a lot of people to the point where they try and play the game spending thousands at the weekends, going to beach clubs and clubs and bars to try and play the bigger game. And then you end up with nothing. I've seen so many coaches that end up with nothing and then end up back in the UK despite wanting to be here. So if you are going to move here, be smart. Be smart with your money. Be smart with preparing the foundations of your business before you move here. If you have an unstable business, you don't have consistently growing revenue, stay where you are, where you're stable, grow it, pay tax. Just if you're earning seven grand a month, get to 15 grand a month, pay the tax. Because then when you make the shift here and then the tax changes for you, you're going to be in a lot more favorable position. But don't make the rush. Don't just jump here for the sake of jumping here. I'm 47. I made the move here when I was 45. All right. Would I have done this a lot earlier in my career if things were differently? Maybe things weren't differently. But you may be 22, 24, 25, 31. 
and you have this opportunity right now. Don't do it when you're not emotionally stable, financially stable, and certain that this is the right place for you to be. I can honestly tell you right now, hand on my heart, that my wife and I have never been happier. Of course, we've got a beautiful son in Mason in the last year. Um, it's safe. It's incredibly clean. It's incredibly inspiring to be around growth-minded people. It's evolving. It's growing. And it's wanting the people of the city to do well. And the UAE wants people to do well. But it wants you to abide by their rules as well. And that's something that I love. And that everybody here respects that. And it makes it a beautiful place to live. It's a beautiful place that we can call home. And two years in Dubai, I hope this has been of some value to you. But for now, take care. As always, click like and subscribe if you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.